paper clipper has been added to the puzzle index. Oh look, you can see what it, what it is now. Mm. It looks like it looks like an a recipe for squid bread apparently. Uh, that sounds really unappetizing even to me, and I'm a dog. Look at the back though. What's on the back? There's something drawn on the back as well. Let's see. Isn't this a little bit starish clock? And there are instructions about how to make it too. It's a blueprint, miss. What the devil is a blueprint of, a, of the hands of Big Ben doing the rubbish bin of Axe Ipsis? Patissier. Hmm. I think we'll keep holding to the particular piece of rubbish. A cat standing from the bin? Isn't that a bit of cliche? This could be a vital clue, Cheryl, and I think it's safe to assume it's no longer something Mr. Lipsky wants. Oh, and here is a man himself, look. Sorry to keep you waiting, you're your Lipsky special pro... I'm not saying that. Well, thank you so much. No, yes, thank you. I hope to see you again sometime. I'm sure that you will. Goodbye now. Good, I've taken care of the resort, it's time to head back. Finally, back to the matter at hand. I wanna say that the one who did it was probably one of the brothers. Clock and blueprint. Alright cat, where to next? You've done the restaurant and the cake shop. Please tell me you're full now. Yes, I couldn't eat another thing. So let's carry on down Chancer Lane. If we keep heading north, we'll arrive back at the office. Oh, I know what you're thinking, miss. We're stopping for a quick strategy meeting, aren't we? To discuss our next move? Wrong. There is a lovely little boutique shop next to Leighton Detective Agency. I thought we could have a peek. Have a peek? A boutique shop, miss? Alright, that's enough, cat. Get your mind back on the job. Come on, nurse, back me up here. Well, if you say wants to find even more delightful clothes to wear, then I'm all for it, actually. Yeah, give me strength. Come on, the boutique awaits. I feel sorry for you, my four legged companion. Well, here we are outside of Leighton Detective Agency, so, um, where's the boutique shop? It's just next door, come on. Uh, are you really a detective? I'm sorry to have my doubts. But uh, will it be open? Do you think so, miss? Perhaps it's closed for a day, if it's just a small shop. Mm, it could be right, Ernest. Well, there's only one way to find out. Really nothing on there? Wait. Nothing here, nothing here, probably this one. Really? Really none of them! Yeah, we, oh no, we can kind of see it. Oh my god! I literally did not expect that. Meow. Oh, a little cat. It looks like a stray. Perhaps it's lost, do you think? Poor mind, we'll have to help him find his mother. Puzzle 10 lost and found, so yeah, I skipped a few puzzles. This is a leather lottery. You need to add horizontal lines to it in order to deny the lost little ones with their mother. What is the minimum number of horizontal lines you need to add? Select the box and put your answer. For an explanation on how ladder lotteries work, press X on the select menu. Sorry, underneath the puzzle picture. Yeah. Okay. 
We have a lateral order as you start on top of a vertical line, then you must horizontal line. Oh god, this is... Is there a way for me to write? Oh no. Oh god, um... Okay, okay. Uh, hold on a second, I'm gonna be here a while. One eternity later. Okay, after a lot of uh, thinking, my head is hurting, and I honestly want to cry. Please let the answer be five. Please. And submit. Please. If you would entertain my idea here. Still yes. On this Leighton, of course. Yes, puzzle solved. Thank Christ. I was really going to be annoyed if that wasn't the answer. You did it. They all look very pleased to see their mothers. There are several ways to place the five horizontal lines. Meow, meow, meow. I don't think it was lost at all. No, I'm sure you're right, miss. It doesn't actually look like a kitten. I was worrying for nothing. Oh, were you hoping to buy something the Lucky Clover? Well, I was hoping to browse at least. Of course you were, my dear. I run by a lady called Clover Price. She managed the place on her own, you know. She stocks the most beautiful clothes, and the hats and accessories are delightful too. But since it's just her running the place, her opening hours are rather a hit and miss. She's very lucky to be able to pick, the to pick and choose when she works. She really is a Lucky Clover. You don't know anything about her, cat. Keep your muzzle out of other piece of, out of other people's business. I think you'll find this place empty until recently, but someone set up a shop here. Layton's detective agency says on the sign. See, open brackets. In other words, a snoop service. Close brackets. You can't trust detectives if you ask me. They're as bad as a master criminals. You're supposed to investigate. Well, you can trust the later name. The agency motto is any mystery solved. I make it my personal mission to get to the bottom of, of any never conundrum that my client throws at me. You are the detectives? Oh, Bob, you're such an idiot. Idiot, idiot, idiot. It's alright. Please feel free to come in for a consultation if there's anything you, you might be able to help with. Oh, another puzzle. San Grios famous wet poponios special prize just for you. See poponios. Poponios? Hmm, I'm sure I've seen you before somewhere. Loitering around suspicious. I'm not suspicious. I'm Benny. Anywhere, anyone I wearing an outfit like that needs treating needs treating suspiciously. Poponios are a special souvenirs from my home in San Grim, Grio. If you have a poponio, they say you get good luck forever. They say your dreams come true. They say you'll be eternally happy. Gosh, it's all, it's, it sounds almost too good to be true. I think I have to decline, I'm afraid. I'm in the middle of an important investigation at the moment. No, no, don't say no. If you don't like my poponios, how about a puzzle? Oh boy. Puzzling paints. So oh, this one's probably easy. Hopefully. Maybe. The color of, pa of the paints are represent representing the appearance of something. Apparently one of the colors can be seen every day. But which one is it? A is black, B is blue, and C is white. Choose one of them. Some puzzles are multiple choice with answers between A, B, C or 1, 2, 3. Select your answer button to indicate that's your answer. Then press plus to submit the button so you are right. Here you select multiple answers. Select each answer to push the answer button down. Then press the submit button to see if you are right. If you change your mind to answer, simply select the answer button again to clear it. Okay. The colors and paintings are representing your... The appearance of something. No. 
The price of the color is gonna be seen every day. But which one is it? Black, blue, or white? Can I select multiple? No, I cannot. Okay. Three weeks later. I wanna say black. Many months later. But. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just reread the question. I just reread the question. Apparently, one of the clothes can be seen every day. But which one is it? It's not, it's not saying that you can see the color all the time, but you can see it every single day, every single day. So, it, even if the color, say, changes to, if the sky would change to purple every single day, and you saw the purple, that would be the color. So, by that logic, it would be A, because it becomes nighttime. Right? It's not blue, right? Because, uh, you know what? Freaking go, go with black, go with black. Mm, this should do it, I think. Yes. Yes, I'm getting better at this. Hopefully, maybe. You did it. The paint colors are represent the appearance of the sky. Black is a nice sky. Blue is the sky on a clear day, and white is the sky on a cloudy day. The color that can be seen every day, regardless of weather, is the black of the night nice sky. Fantastic, you got it right. Well, I think you should have a sangria popon. Really? For free? For two thirds of the normal price. Uh, no, thank you. No? Uh, why does no one want to buy my poponios? I came such a long way to from sangria to sell my poponios all over the world. I was sure Londoners would like them, but, not sure, but nobody shows any interest at all. Oh, I'm. I'm sorry to hear that. Would you like to buy a papoon to cheer me up? No. Uh, being busy like this, it is not easy. I can't have to agree with you. Hmm, the door won't budge. It looks like it's closed today after all. Oh, bother. Sorry, miss, but at least you can easily come again after another day, seeing this right next to the door to the office. But I'm in the mood for shopping now! Do you, do you think it's really closed? You don't think the owner will open for, up for me? No one to give up, cat! Dear me, you young terrorists never, never look where you're going, do you? Sorry? Just look at that puddle at your feet. Oh goodness, you're right. My shoes would have been ruined. Thank you, madam. I'm very grateful. <laughs> Oh, don't mention it. Sweetie, it's terrible for getting wet, isn't it? It's funny that there's only one puddle here and nowhere else. I wonder why. There's nowhere for the water to drain away, of course. That's the trouble. Speaking of which, there's a funny conundrum I know about drains. I wonder if you came across it before. More puzzles, Jesus. Pipe nightmare. Okay. If this if this part here if this becomes a part I can already tell that it's gonna be something like puzzles in reverse or something like that because I made ten out of eight Jesus oh God what the heck am I looking at here's some very complicated pipe work if you turn on the correct two valves out of the eight valves at the top water will flow out of the exit pipes at the bottom. If the pipe splits, if the pipe splits in two, the water will flow both ways, but only in a downward direction. Select a valve to open or close it, and decide which sorry which pipes will send the water down. Work on which two have valves are the correct ones to get the water to all exits. Oh, okay, so I need to press and then I said, oh, okay, it's gonna be one of those. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Two thousand years later. Wait, wait! I think I just saw it. I accompanied it with the cursor, and I think I saw it. Cause look, if you look at B, it goes here, down here. It also goes here. B also goes down here. This pipe and down this pipe here, which is a mess. And D goes down this one here all the way up. This one here, and this one here. So I think it's E and B, right? 
is an interesting one. Ah, got any it. Mystery or any puzzle solved. You did it. Turning on the valves B and D make water come out of all exits. Now all the pipes have water flowing through. Pipe nightmare. Tell me about it. Wonderful, dear me. I wish you could solve the problem of this puzzle like you solved that puzzle. There is always a puzzle here after trains. Ah, did it, did it rain yesterday then? One of my neighbors said it was raining in the middle of the night, yes. I don't know what she was doing up, mind you. It sounded like it was just a passing shower or two, though. Hmm, right in the middle of the night. This could be a clue! Overnight rain. You found a clue overnight rain. It's complete! Oh boy. Neither can... Uh, okay. I mean... Wait, can I save first? Yes, I can, thank Christ. Let's try solving it. Aha, I've got it! I know what happened to the missing clock hand! You do? Indeed! This mystery is history! Who did it then, miss? All in good time, Maris. We have to call Inspector Hastings first. He'll want to hear this, of course. In fact, yes, I should think the results of the foreigners and others will be ready by now. Ernest, could you trot over to Scotland Yard and pick up a copy of the results? You mean the analysis of the samples they took from the scene? Yes, that's right. Once you have that, I'll explain everything. It doesn't make any sense, Cat. Clock hands don't just go missing overnight. Well, not necessarily. What if the hand melted during the night? That's a possibility. No, no, no. Just no. I wonder. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! The hand of the clock must have been an enormous wafer. Now you're taking the biscuit! Well, traces of a substance that could be wafer were found at the base of the clock tower. Put me down! That explains everything, actually. Tell me you're making this up, please. Oh, now I have voice acting here for some reason. The samples collected from the scene certainly could indicate a wafer-like material. It had me confused at first, but of course, wafer makes perfect sense. Yeah, maybe they lost a hand or something happened to it. Then they had the, bro the Baker brother of the, the Lipsky brother makes make a a clock hand to put there, then it rained and the clock melted. Oh yes, wafer makes perfect sense for the kitty cat, but for the rest of us who aren't crazy, it's a bit hard to swallow. It's the truth that's crazy, not me, because the truth is stranger than fiction. On some cases, yes. Really? It's highly probable that the culprit is someone used to cooking cakes and pastries on a grand scale. In other words, a confectioner. We're looking for a master wafer maker. Oh, you again. What do you want now? Well, Mr. Lipsky, it's about the person responsible for the missing hour hand. Me? Eh? It's you, isn't it? <laughs> what are you talking about? This is not fair. You can't pick on me. What evidence? If it's evidence you want, how about this? It's... it's drawing of hand! I believe you made this, didn't you? As a plan for your brother, who had you make a giant clock hand out of wafer biscuit. Gotta be honest, none of this, this is so ridiculous, but yeah, it's entertaining at least. I was not enough careful, like idiot. I made stew. I dropped the hand, and it was broken. 
now Ambassador is coming, and we are in pickle. So you came up with the idea of a wafer hand to buy you some time? No, yes. It was only thing I could think of. But my Bratsy is not to blame. It was all my idea. Okay, so maybe Bratsy isn't the age, but how they call each other. Bratsy, no! I thought a plan, not you. Quiet, Alex. I told you just follow what I say. <laughs> it's really very charming. Uh, huh? The idea of a giant clock hand made of wafer. It's a wonderful notion. <laughs> uh, still, I did not tell truth. I made big mistake. No, I don't know what me and my Bratsy can do. Oh, that's easy. Can't you just make another one? Easy? Yes, make another one. We'll present your wonderful wafer clock hand to the ambassador as a gift. What foreign dignitary wouldn't be delighted by a life-sized replica of a piece of one of Britain's most iconic landmarks? Uh huh. True, and you could also say like, oh, it took this one here from the clock tower just for you. It's a giant wafer, you can even eat it. Oh, you British, you know how to entertain, huh? <laughs> Whatever may happen, you will never exit our hearts. I mean, it looks delicious, I don't deny that much. So ambassadors whose name I'm never gonna speak again, visit an off when tough like clockwork. And Britain's play, placed as a friendly alley to its European neighbors, was firmly re-established. Oh, Miss Layton, you're amazing! I can't believe it. That whole wafer thing. How wasn't that just a shaggy dog story? Ah, uh, but you see, Sher, the truth is always stranger than fiction. Only sometimes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>